Hey everyone, Tim Lewis back in the studio. Ha, I'm not drinking beer this time. Weird. Uh, listen, does your audio ever sound like this? Or maybe it sounds like this. Does your audio meter ever look like this or something like this? Or maybe something in between? When you're editing your audio in Premiere, does it ever, do you ever find yourself doing this? Well, don't do that anymore because I'm gonna introduce you to an effect called Dynamics and that will fix all of your problems. So here we go. Okay, so I just went ahead and uh, put this clip in, made a sequence from it. Um, just being stupid. Uh, word. Hey, I'm Tim Lewis. Take a look at the meters here. Very quiet right now. And now I'm really loud! But you know, now I'm a little bit quiet. So as you can see, I go from loud to quiet to loud to quiet. That might be annoying to some people. So uh, first off, um, I'm using a lav mic, so I'm gonna go over to fill right with left, so it's on both channels. I'm really left. So now you can see it's on both. Oh my god, that face. Okay, so the effect that you want is dynamics. So drag that over onto your clip, bring that up here, go to effects, scroll down, edit, and then you'll get this window here. Uh, the two effects that I'm going to show you today are compressor and limiter. Make sure they're both checked like that. So if you guys don't know what a compressor is, basically it amplifies quiet sounds and lowers loud sounds. In this case, I want to amplify a quiet sound. The thing is with compressors that they can't do both. Uh, that's where a limiter comes in. And uh, I'll show you both of those right now. So with both limiter and compressor checked, I'm gonna start with compressor. This is where, this is, these are the settings it uh, starts as, which is pretty good. Um, so with compressor, I wanna amplify the quiet sound. So let me just expand this here. And as you can see, that's the loud and that's the quiet. Uh, let's see where quiet I'm is at. Very quiet right now. So maybe around negative 20. So I wanna have the threshold go to negative 20. Very quiet right now. Okay, so it can kind of, you can kind of see it's kind of equaling it out. That's where makeup comes in. Um, I'm very quiet right now. So it's still, you know, pretty quiet. So negative 18. So internet video doesn't really have a standard or anything. T film and TV does. Um, but uh, in this case, there are no standards. Uh, a good practice is to have audio peak at negative 6 and negative three, somewhere around there. Never have it uh, turn red, that's not good. Red is a no-no. Um, let's just turn off this limiter right now just to see where I'm going here. Uh, let's try 15 dB makeup. I'm very quiet right now. It's actually pretty good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do 15, but the problem is, as you can see, I'm very quiet right now. I just set the threshold at negative 20. So anything above negative 20 is bumped up 15 dB. So basically that means that this audio is gonna be really loud. And I'm gonna save your ears. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm gonna play it. And now I'm really loud! Did you see that? That red isn't good. So that's where limiter comes in. Limiter basically means, so you set the threshold. So I'm gonna set it at negative three. So that means that anything that reaches negative three gets cut off, do not go above negative three. Uh, it limits the audio. Pretty clever. <laughs> Be quiet right now. And now I'm really loud! Look at that. Wow. Look at that. You know, you don't want everything to be exactly negative three the entire time. You want your audio to be a little bit dynamic. That's where the effect name comes in. <laughs> and that's kind of what's happening now with music. Uh, there's a loudness war going on where, you know, in the past there was very quiet parts and very loud parts. Uh, now albums that are getting remastered and everything like that, they're all, you know, high octane, negative three throughout the entire song. And that kind of gets rid of the dynamicness. The dy is that a word, dynamicness? That gets rid of the whole kind of ebbs and flows of, of music. And not a lot of people like that, including this guy. Um, so that's pretty much it. Hey, I'm Tim Lewis. I'm very quiet right now. And now I'm really loud. But you know, now I'm a little bit quiet. Can you hear me? The things I do for you guys. Okay, uh, so let's see the before and after. I'm gonna turn off the okay. dynamics effect. Hey, I'm Tim Lewis. I'm 
very quiet right now. And now I'm really loud! But, you know, now I'm a little bit quiet. So you can barely even hear, or at least in my speakers right now, you can't even hear my quiet part. Uh, so, AutoGate, that does something that's v it's very similar to Expander, uh, which basically means that anything below a certain point that you set, the threshold, um, gets knocked down. Um, so, you know, if you have like a little bit of like, or like, you know, the air duct or something is making sound, uh, that's where that comes in. Um, but I don't really need that right now. So that's it. That's the dynamics effect. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. Be happy to answer them. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of getting into like a weekly cadence with these videos and uh, it seems like you guys are really liking them. And it, you know, makes me happy that you guys are enjoying these videos. Um, see you next week.